all after this experiment seemed to go bad since we had two, uh, apparently we can't get them in the headlines, uh, young African-American men who were killed uh, by those that suddenly took over the job of law enforcement uh, because they be- began to want CHOP to be the way they wanted it. Uh, and we also had uh, allegations of rape and theft and violence. It just turned horrible. And then eventually, let's see, how did we eventually get rid of CHOP? Oh, we actually started letting law enforcement do their job, and then we removed that. We cleaned that up, and we said that did not go well. So we now have Seattle residents that are now slamming the defund the police plan. What? And they said this was a radical experiment, and it went bad. So these people made their way to the city budget meeting, (laughs) and, uh, of course, the city was uh, proposing defunding the police uh, by uh, 50%, resulting in layoffs for hundreds of officers. Uh, and it says, uh, as Seattle deals with the coronavirus outbreak and frequent riots and other unrest, and they've been dealing with this since May 25th after the horrible death of George Floyd, they said uh, the defund the police effort was initially popular in the city. It now has become very unpopular. Hmm. Uh, Wait a minute! Uh-oh. <laughs> that confused you, sir? <laughs> Wait just a minute! <laughs> I thought we was going to get rid of law enforcement. We was all going to live in happy to do day. <laughs> What's happened? Did we remove the police and then things got worse? How'd that happen? <laughs> do not day. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba.